Hello and welcome to another Nova Fabtech series. Today we will be supporting this model. For this type of model, we basically suggest that you put it flat. Why? Because uh, it will help you reduce the printing time. For this model also, we will be putting casting ways distributed on the model and then we will put support. Let's begin. Firstly, join the model. Now I will drag the model up and then I will start putting the casting ways first. I will go to front view. Grab this tool, select points and then extend it to the middle part. Then press enter. Next, select the line. Pipe. In order to make it pointed, put the start radius as small like 0.3 millimeter. End radius is 0.8 millimeter. Next radius will be 0.7. See, it's pointed. Select the curve and then delete. Select the pipe and then arrange it. On the perspective view, check. I will select the pipe and convert it to mesh. Then delete the nerves object. So from here, put the different branches first before mirroring it. For that, let's go to right view. Again, grab the curve tool. Select points to make it bend, then press enter. Let's pipe it again. Again, make it pointed, point 0.3. Let's make it smaller like point 0.6 and then align it. Go back to perspective view. Take this pipe and then mirror it on the other side. Zero, hold down shift and mirror. We will make copies of it extended up to this part. Select the two pipes. We will use array linear. Number of items is four. Then let's go to top view. Pick the reference point while holding down shift to make it straight and then extend. Then pick up to here. Go back to perspective view and check. As you see, this pipe is touching this one move it hold down shift select both of them and then drag it right next lock the model select all the pipes check the connections and adjust up this one also. So what I'm doing is adjusting it inside. Next, select all these pipes and convert it to mesh while it's selected delete the nerves now we can freely select all the pipes join them first and then mirror it on the other side so mirror Start of plane, zero. Hold down shift. Drag it on the other side. Unlock all the objects. Select all of them and then join. And we will now proceed to putting the supports. Go to the right view. Select the model 
and then rotate it. Normally, we put the model 4 millimeters up before putting the supports. When it's in position, go to top view, grab the corner to corner plane, and then put it across the object. Drag it up. First layers is this part. Going up. Okay. So as you see, we have part here that is hanging and there's too much of them. What we can suggest is rotate the model a bit so we can avoid these parts getting damaged or not printed. Also, we can avoid putting too much supports. Drag a bit more. Then let's check again. By putting the angle, we can avoid this part. And as you see, there's still parts that are still hanging. So we can adjust again more angle. Go to perspective view again and check. So now there's a little chance that this part will be damaged or there's no chance at all. Continue going up. As you see, we still have one part here that needs support. Continue. One part here. So continue going up. Here also. Rotate. Continue going up. This one. And all good. Drag again the plane down. So we will start from here. This part. I will grab the bell support. Choose the mesh. And press enter. We use one point with a radius of 0.3. I will start from here. Make sure it's 2 millimeters apart from each other and continue since the model is also proportionate we can just mirror the supports add also this one okay so let's select the supports Type mirror, start of mirror 0, and then hold shift. So let's continue. Drag it more up. We will put support on this part. Bell support again. Select the mesh. Change my type to 2 points. And the radius to 0 0.2. Since uh, it's a small part, I don't need a bigger support. So I will just choose the mesh. And then connect it to here. Drag more and we will see this part. So again, bell support. Select the area or the part and then connect. Continue going up. And this part. Use bell support. Choose the mesh. And then pick the part you want to connect. Continue up and this one. Drag more and this one. And then that's all. Also, we should not forget this part. We will use two points to connect this part to the pipe. Or we can put from here up to this part. So, bell support. Since this is a big surface, I will adjust the radius to point 0.3. Pick this area. And then connect it to here. Again, Another one, 
same. So since our model has this angle, what we can do is randomly pick areas. It will also support the pipes and make the model stable. So I will pick this area. I will also add supports on these parts. I will use one point bell support. So from three millimeters, I will use 0.35. So pick these points. Add supports here. Let's drag the plane up. Okay. As you see, there is also here. We will put support also on that part. Click this area. Add supports to this area. And then that's it. We will mirror these supports on the other side. Select the supports. Uh, generally, casting pipes are only for casting. After the process is finished, it will be removed. So, I just pick a random distance. So now, let's mirror. Zero. Hold down shift and then select. We can delete the plane now. And then... Let's put supports also on this part. Let's see. I will go to bottom view. Bell support. Then pick the points. Okay. Select the three supports we added. Then mirror it on the other side. So mirror. Zero. Go back to perspective and check. There you go. We have a long model supported on a flat angle. We also added casting ways and supports. Thank you and have a good day.